Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to memorize an invoice for reoccurring uh, monthly invoices. So basically what you want to do anytime you're going to have a reoccurring or a memorized transaction uh, is you want to open up the transaction and create it. Okay, so I'm going to say, you know, we're going to bill Walker Properties and, you know, fill in all the information that you need to fill in, the class, the terms, right? Because anything that you put in here is going to be remembered every time it posts every month, okay? The date doesn't matter, the invoice number doesn't matter for now because I'm not going to save it today, right? I'm just creating it so that it will be posted on the first of next month. So the quantity, we're going to say two and it's custom, you know, whatever information you have in here and it's $250 each. Okay, so once I've created the invoice here, now you don't wanna hit save unless you actually wanna save this transaction for this month, right? So if we don't wanna save it, we just wanna start their invoicing happening automatically next month, then what I wanna do is I don't wanna hit save, I just wanna come in here and I wanna create, I'm sorry, I wanna memorize. <laughs> then when I hit memorize, let me get rid of this little drop down there. So I can put in a name there, which is nice, so Walker Properties. If this is something that you bill monthly for some people and quarterly for others, you may wanna create a group in the Memorize Transactions area. So a group, you can see all the monthlies together, all the quarterlies together, as an example. If this is something that you bill once a, a year instead of once a month, right? You also should create some groups. So January group, February group, March group, it helps keep them organized, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna create it as a one-off, or yeah, I'm just gonna create it as a one-off. So Walker Properties, I want to automate the transaction entry, which means automatically put it in every month. And then I'm gonna say it's every month, right? So how often monthly? Then I'm gonna say the next date, it thinks it's 2021 because this is a sample file. So I would say, I would hit H to take me to the end of the month if I want the end of the month. And then I can just hit the plus sign to take me to the first of the following month if I want to. So I'm gonna, my next date that I'm gonna bill them is January 1st. The number remaining, I'm gonna say this is a 24 month contract. So for 24 months. And then you have your days in advance to enter. So it's going to post on the first of the month every month, right? That's the, going to be the date of the transaction. But how soon do I want to put this in the system? So this is definitely something to consider if you're using the uh, collection center in QuickBooks, right? Because the collection center, we can be proactive in uh, reaching out to our customers and saying, hey, your invoice is almost due, right? So on this one, it says terms of net 15, so it's due by the 15th of the month, right, every month. So what we can do is I can say, I want it to be put, put in the system five days ahead of time. So then what's gonna happen is, one, two, three, four, five, on the 27th, it's going to be put into the system. Now the date is still gonna be January 1st, but it'll go into QuickBooks on the 27th, right? So it gives me a couple, a couple days ahead of time so that I can, you know, email out the invoices or, you know, print them out or whatever I have to do to get it over to the customer. Okay. So once I've saved this memorized transaction, then I want to come down to the bottom down here and select clear. You can't hardly see it there because I have to zoom in on these videos, but you select clear. Okay. Now clear, if you see clear down here on this box in the lower right, let me see if I can, uh, well, well, you won't be able to see it because of the screen here. But if I see clear down there, right, oh, there you go. If I see clear down there in the box on the right, that means I haven't saved it yet, right? Because if I had saved it and I'd made some changes, it would say revert, okay? So clear means I have not posted this transaction, I've not saved this tr transaction, which is what I want to do, right? I don't want it to post until the 27th when it's going to post for January 1st date. Okay, so then I'm gonna hit clear, so it clears it out, and then I can close out of that invoice. Now, if I go look at my list and my memorized transaction list, right, so I should have on here Walker Properties, 
And if I needed to edit that invoice for any reason, so let's say they added an additional location and I need to bill for three of them, I want to do the same thing. I open it up. Okay. I'm going to change the quantity to three. I still have that clear down here, right? I, I can still see it says clear, so I know that I'm okay. I haven't posted anything yet. And then I want to rememorize it. So when I hit memorize again, and I'm going to say replace instead of add an additional one. So it's going to replace that original memorized transaction. And then I'm going to hit clear again to clear it off. So now when I look at it, right, it says it's $750 a month, but it's still the next date that it's going to be processed is going to be on January 1st. Okay. So that is how to create an invoice for reoccurring monthly invoices.